Hey there, what is up you guys? I am Jerry and welcome back to the channel, The Chicago Griller. This is the show where I share my favorite tips, tricks, and recipes for the Weber Q. If you think that I could help you out, hit that like button and subscribe. So I recently got back from vacation in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and I was really moved by the beauty and hospitality of the American West. And now that I'm back here in the Windy City, I wanted to bring a taste of the Wild West back to Chicago and grill up a bison skillet on this Weber Q. You don't want to miss out. So this recipe can normally be prepared completely inside, but in the spirit of the American West, we're going to do everything outside today. The first thing you need is you need to grab a 10 inch cast iron skillet. This fits perfectly in a Weber Q 1000 or 2000. You'll also need, of course, one pound of ground bison. Now I know this says buffalo on the front, but I'm pretty sure it's bison because buffalo is not native to America. We're also gonna go with two peeled and cubed sweet potatoes. Finally, when we get to cooking, we are also gonna add two eggs, one whole chopped onion, one whole chopped red pepper, and some diced green chilies. Anyways, let's get this barbecue heated and assemble our skillet. The first thing we have to do is we need to preheat and season our cast iron skillet. I've turned my Weber Q to a medium heat and I'm going to drizzle about a teaspoon or two of olive oil. Now shut the lid for about 10 minutes and let this all come on up to temperature. Once the skillet is preheated, I'm going to spread the oil a little bit more evenly and then fry up a couple of eggs. I'll go ahead and crack these eggs on my grill cart and open them up directly over the skillet. There's the first egg, and now the second egg. Now I'll shut the lid and let these eggs cook for about four minutes undisturbed. After four minutes, your eggs are done if you like them sunny side up, but if you want them over easy, over medium, or over hard, Flip the eggs over and let this cook for another minute or two until your desired level of hardness and doneness. I like my eggs over medium, so after flipping these, I'm going to let these cook for another minute. So after about a minute, these eggs are now cooked to over medium and they can come on off the grill. Go ahead and wrap and set these eggs aside because we'll come back to them at the end of this cook. At this point in your cook, increase your grill temperature to a medium high heat and add your sweet potatoes to the skillet. For today's cook, I peeled and cubed two medium-sized sweet potatoes. And just use a set of tongs and try to lay them evenly in a single layer at the bottom of your skillet. Once you've done that, close the lid and let it cook undisturbed for about five minutes. And after five minutes, open your lid, give your potatoes a toss and a turn, then lay them flat in a single layer once again, shut the lid and cook for another five minutes. Now, five minutes later, 10 minutes of total elapsed cook time have passed and it's time to give the potatoes one last stir and then add in most of the rest of our ingredients. Let's start off with the pound of bison. It may all seem like a tight fit initially, but as the bison cooks, it will shrink and you'll see that a 10 inch skillet is perfect for one pound of bison meat. Try to shift things around as best you can so that the bison is touching the surface of the cast iron. You'll also wanna take your spatula or your tongs and start breaking up the bison into smaller chunks. You don't have to break it up perfectly at this point. It'll get a little bit easier as the bison cooks down. Anyways, continue adding the ingredients to the skillet Next up, I'm going to add my green chilies. And after that, I'm going to add my diced white onion and my diced red pepper. 
Your skillet may look pretty full at this point, but don't worry. Like I said before, as it all cooks down, it will shrink a little bit and it will be a perfect fit. Now before I shut the lid, I'm going to season the contents of the skillet with this 3 Taj grilling and roasting rub. It's a mix of salt, pepper, garlic, and other spices. Use whatever grill rub you like. I think a barbecue rub would work really well, or just simple salt and pepper. Once you've seasoned your skillet to taste, mix all the ingredients up one last time. Continue to break up the bison chunks, and then when you're satisfied, shut the lid and let this cook for about five minutes. Five minutes after adding all those ingredients, you'll see the bison is starting to brown up nicely, but there are still some pink spots. So continue to break up and mix these bison chunks in with the rest of the ingredients. And once again, when satisfied, we're gonna shut the lid and let this go for yet another five minutes. Five minutes later, for a total of 20 minutes of elapsed cooking time, you may see that there's still a slight touch of pink to some of the bison, but that's okay. There's actually one more step and one ingredient I forgot to mention when outlining the ingredients in my intro. And the first step is that at this point, we're gonna add a quarter cup of water. You can substitute with chicken broth if you'd like. But that one final and missing ingredient is two cups of arugula. You can substitute with another leafy vegetable like spinach but I like arugula. You'll find that the green really brings the skillet all together. So go ahead and spread it out a little bit, pat it down, then shut the lid and let the water or chicken broth steam and wilt the vegetables in about five minutes. And now finally, five minutes later, for a total of 25 minutes of total cook time, our skillet is just about done. The bison is now completely cooked so to finish off our bison skillet, we're going to go back and grab the eggs that we fried up earlier and lay that directly on top of the contents of our skillet. So check this out. Is this beautiful or what? I assure you this is delicious as well. And I think this pairs perfectly with a cup of joe. So today I brewed up a cup of cowboy coffee that I brought back from Jackson Hole. Mmm, perfect. So, one last look at our completed dish. My bison skillet, aka cowboy skillet, made on a Weber Q. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week.